Glide creates default tabs for you when you first import your spreadsheet. For every sheet in your spreadsheet, it will create a tab in your app. You can hide and reorder these as you wish, as well as change the name and icon. Every time you create a new sheet with data in it, a new tab will appear in Glide. But you can also create tabs whenever you like and choose an existing sheet as their source. For example, our app is already displaying our employees sheet as a home tab. We can create a new tab and choose the staff sheet again as the source and then show that list in a different way. We could change the layout, change which properties are showing and then even filter that screen so only our managers show up. Now we have two tabs based on the same data, but showing it in different ways. Another way of displaying your tabs is by using the app menu. To enable the app menu, just drag one or more of your tabs into the app menu section. Tabs are a good way of providing clear navigation points in your app, but sometimes you want to tap on other items like images or buttons and have those linked to different screens. You can enable the link to screen action on certain components. Once you've done this, you can then choose the sheet that you want to link to and then customize how you want that screen to display. Here's an example of our Glide community app, which just uses the image component as navigation buttons with the link to screen action enabled.